Hi, happy morning, everyone. Welcome to Meteor YouTube channel. I hope you're all fine and doing well for your exams. We'll today see five important MCQs for the exam of Ames and Jipmer. Today, we are mainly focusing on the oncology. Okay. The most important practical oriented questions we are going to dis discuss. Okay. So, before that, we'll start with a small quote Don't stop when you are tired, stop when you are done. Okay. Well? So, you tired on your target achieve panama, you get tired on a low road work on the stop on a good until you achieve your dream or your ambition, then only you have to stop. Okay, we'll start today's session. First question A nurse is caring for a client who has developed a mucositis of the oral membrane. The client is being discharged. The nurse should teach the client to. To what? Options. The client should drink iced liquid before each meal. The client should rinse her mouth with a commercial mouthwash after every meal. The client should rinse her mouth with a solution of saline and water after each meal. The client should firmly brush her teeth after each meal. So the question is telling about the patient who discharged with the mucos um, mucositis. Mucositis is nothing but the infection and inflammation of the mucous membrane due to the some cancer treatment because of chem chemotherapy, radiation therapy, the patient may, may have a mucositis. So when there is a patient who undergone a chemotherapy, radiation therapy, we have to absorb for this mucositis. So with this condition, the patient is discharged to or going to the home. We have to inform what? We have to tell the patient that you have to rinse the second. We have to rinse the mouth with the saline so that you will get you don't get an irritation. So the mucositis, what will happen from all, all over the GA tract? The mucositis may happen due to the uh, chemotherapy or a radiation therapy. So we have to advise them. So after the each meal, the patient should do the mouthwash or with a saline or with a water, not with a commercial mouthwash. It may increase the infection because it is irritable okay it will irritate the GI tract and uh, not not the GI tract, mucous membrane mainly for oral iced liquid before the each meal option a no that is also wrong because that can leads to the uh, dryness so the dryness will more it will increase the mucositis so option a also wrong option b also wrong option d the client should Firmly fresh her teeth after each meal. So no need to uh, do the brush after the each meal. Okay, that won't help in the mucositis. So the correct option is option C. Next question. The goal of each chemotherapy treatment is to what? So the question is, what is chemotherapy treatment? Main goal. Options, eradicate all of the cancer cell, eradicate all the actively proliferating cells in the body, eradicate the wall of the cancerous tumor, eradicate a percentage of the cancer cells. So the correct option is option D, eradicate a percentage of the cancer cell. Chemotherapy drugs are designed to target and kill the rapidly dividing cells, right? So rapid growth are the target for chemotherapy. Mainly the cancer cells. However, it is not always possible to complete eradicate all the cancer cells. So chemotherapy you put so that you are completely you don't cure or you don't kill the, all the cancer cells. At least it will support the person to live as long as possible by reducing the percentage of the cancer cells in the blood. Percentage of the cancer complete eradicate. Okay, that is the goal of main goal of the chemotherapy is to eradicate the percentage of the cancer cells. Clear? Yes. Question number three. Does a procedure that removes a significant part or most of a tumor in cases where it is not possible to remove all of it. Okay, so the procedure name, they are asking about the procedure name. So options, palliative surgery, debulking, target, partial. So what is the correct, uh, uh, what is that called? This question is targeting about. tumor, surgeon tumor complete remove So only the part, the most, most is different. Complete is different. Okay. Most means 98%, 96%, 90%. So 100% they are not removing the tumor. Okay. So this type of procedure is called 
people king it's nothing but uh, the surgeon cannot remove the tumor entirely because of their invasion so what happened that the, or, uh, the tumor it invaded the organ you cannot remove the complete tumor part so if the surgeon try to remove the complete tumor part that will be more complications the particular part uh, the organ won't work okay for example in the brain tumors so most uh, some tumors are invaded very deeply so what the surgeon neurosurgeon will do they remove only the uh, 90 percentage of the tumor the 10 percent they will leave it so that 10 percent they will do some radiation or chemotherapy to kill that remaining 10 percentage clear if they try to remove the 100 percent of that uh, tumor so the the particular part of that brain won't work okay so this is called a deep bulking surgery clear yes next select the correct progression from healthier cells to cancerous cells so how the cancer cells are growing so what is the uh, correct pathway from normal cell to cancerous cells and the options dysplastic metaplastic anaplastic anaplastic dysplastic metaplastic dysplastic metaplastic antineoplastic anaplastic metaplastic dysplastic so the correct option is option a dysplastic metaplastic and anaplastic so what is happening first in this normal cells the shape and the cell size and the organization is getting changing the shape of the particular cell is getting changed that is dysplastic metaplastic means transformation from one type of the tissue to the another that is metaplastic anaplastic is what the loss of cell differentiation and the presence of undifferentiated cells so this is the correct pathophysiology how the healthier cell become a cancer cell dysplastic metaplastic anaplastic first the shape will be changed or size will be changed second from the one type of the tissue to the another type that is abnormal type anaplastic the loss of cell differentiation you cannot differentiate the cell so that is end form so this is the order clear yes next question which of the following is not a common supporting medication class for the chemotherapy? In the chemotherapy, we will be used various type of uh, supporting drugs to support the treatment. So among these four options, one is not a common supporting medication. Options, anti-inflammatory, dopamine, opioid, sulfur drugs. The correct option is sulfur drugs. Sulfur drugs are not commonly used in the support of chemotherapy drugs. Remaining anti-inflammatory, dopamine antagonist, opioid drugs, they will be used for the inflammation, nausea, and pain during the chemotherapy. Except sulfur drugs. Sulfur drugs we usually for used for the bacterial infections. Clear? That is not useful in the supportive, useful in the chemotherapy. Clear? I hope today's class was helpful. Please do revision the home. Okay? We'll meet you in the next class. Thank you so much and all the best.